Hello, my lovely Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Let's get right into your November monthly love reading. I have children. You could have children or be worried. Pregnancy, keep an open mind about love. Trust that the situation is calling for you to have faith in it right now. You're going to be making healthy choices in November. So you could be coming across a connection here that's going to be healthy. Um, this person could have a child. You could have a child, but... Um, it's going to be a good thing. So Spirit wants you to trust in this situation and have faith that, you know, this person is nothing like your past. They do not want to hurt you. You know, they've been hurt before too. And it's like, all they want is just balance and peace in regards to their love life here. So focus on you, put yourself first, main priority, have fun, go out, Leos, make healthy choices and love and life. So care, self love. Again, like I said, being happier here, be lighthearted. You're going to be finding about out about some things. There could be a new chapter you're going to partake in regards to a job or promotion or a new boss is coming in. Um, it's going to be something that you're going to adapt to. But again, no matter what you're going to go through, Leo's, for the month of November, things will balance out and you will have your justice, your stability here, okay? This could be a past love connection that you've dealt with and they're coming back again, Leo's. They're thinking about you. Um, it could be like you've been around each other's family. We have competition, enemy, clever, the snake here, look over your shoulder, the other woman. We also have Grim Reaper, relationship is over, and no second chance is growing to transform your life, okay? So this could be regards into a past situation where it's like you need to start moving forward, okay? But like I said, this is someone from your past here that you guys could have ended on a bad note. This person wants to come in, say sorry, balance it out. This, I mean, this could even be between two to four years for some of you. Like someone's gonna, you're gonna get an apology because that wanted to come out of nowhere. Someone could have chose another person over you, you know, other woman, other man, same thing here. Because there's a third party energy. Someone has gotten their karma. Okay, I'm seeing it now. There's a past energy that's gotten their karma. <laughs> and now you're gonna have good karma in regards to finding the one or meeting the one a month of November, a connection that you're currently in. It's going to progress, and this person is going to try to come in and drop these wands here, these burdens. Ten, ten, angel number, ten of cups, ten of wands showing up in your reading, Leos, all right? I feel like someone has been hiding on to surprise you for so long. You know, it, it took them a minute. We have many options, just uh, uh, uncon unconventional string along, one night stand, heartbroken, so they're heartbroken for hurting you like that having other options it's like they're getting clarity but a little bit too late right so again as you get that clarity as you start to focus move on you know mastering the spiritual lesson for the month of november here uh things are going to start looking up for you and again you're going to get a apology from a past love like i said i do see a connection that you're in working out so just be mindful of self-sabotage leos for the month of november you are embracing some new chapters some new starts here Take it easy on yourself in regards to healing as well. Remember, you know, pour this love into yourself because it's, it's, it's going to be a lot. There's a karmic cycle that's closing out for some of you, Leos, okay? We have temperance, Sagittarius, energy, the Ten of Wands, and the Page of Wands. It's like not taking a risk. It's a risk. A lot of pent-up emotions, Leos, for some of you that is going to clear out. A Sagittarius is repressing a lot right now. Uh, this could also be a connection where someone's falling like really fast for you and it's like they want to slow down. This could be them self-sabotaging right now as well. So there's distance with your person. This is why they know that this is a sacred union and like you're nothing like the rest pretty much with the two of cups showing up. So if you want to manifest love, marriage, Leos, this is the perfect time to do so as we are in this new moon and Scorpio energy. We're new beginnings, transformations, things that needs to kind of die in our life, let it. Um, it's safe to make the move that you're considering here. And once again, patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing, okay? So there is a tire moment that you don't see that hasn't happened yet. There's a significant change that once you take this leap of faith and really manifest and talk to yourself and what you want in regards to love, it's going to be like, it's going to just, boom, just happen. Some of you will be getting an offer of love, a proposal here. Someone feels like you are a gift, like they, they... You are the prize that they um, won you. They could be going on a trip, traveling. This person might actually go on a trip, which is going to be unexpected to kind of solidify this. This person has a lot of anxiety. Yeah, Virgo energy. Someone's coming in fast, so to say they're sorry. And, and you, you might just, you know, keep it positive and light, but there's not, but there's not going to be any moving on from this. So if you're feeling really heavy right now, go inward. There's a lot of, again, um, 
with the devil and the energy a lot of dark thoughts that you're clearing out find your light within like i said for some of you it's going to be an up and down battle but there's a chapter that's closing with the full card showing up a shift is happening so you're going to feel very light towards the end of november leos okay the most thing pertinent thing that you um have to be mindful of goes going against your intuition don't be so bogged down in your head this month the four of pentacles that you get stuck okay find a balance here or something that you're not seeing clearly that you're choosing to ignore once you get through this and take action on it is when things will start to move forward in your life here so focus focus on your divine feminine energy like i said self-love self-care nurturing yourself going out having fun because there's a new suitor that is coming in that is suitable for you emotionally mature know it's knows exactly what they want could be a cancer scorpio or pisces as well okay so don't be afraid to let your guard down cancers i mean leos <laughs> just say cancers um so check cancers out your new person could be a cancer mindful wisdom create some inner harmony yeah remember get out your head there's a message that's trying to come in through your thoughts that you're not seeing that god and your angels is trying to give you and that can be through meditation taking a walk working out doing something to clear your mind move forward with an open mind okay know that things are happening for you and not to you leos everything is in doom and gloom leo so take that how you um need it leos okay we have a message of love. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. And I love you. There's some twin flame energy that's coming on. And a secret admirer. Yeah, deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. And I feel like for some of you, you're going to be asked out on a trip. And all that, most importantly, you lead the way. It's time to light your own path. You can either settle and be in your darkness or choose to move forward. Because my I'm starting to get a headache, Leos. So definitely it's time to clear out your head, get out, you know, do something relaxing, binge watch your shows, listen to like some spiritual music. You really need some clearing out that you need to do for the month of November, all right? I'm going to leave it here, guys. Have a wonderful week.